some of you might be wondering if you should practice hands separately and if so, when and how much. I have an opinion and I'll say now that you might be surprised by it. First, we have to understand the difference between learning a piece and practicing a piece. Learning a piece means that we're actually having to learn new things, the notes, rhythm, and maybe some musical notation or symbols that you've never seen before. This is getting to the point where intellectually, you understand everything on the page, even if you can't play it the way you want yet. Practicing is when you take everything that you've learned, everything that you know, and mold it and perfect it. It's practicing what you've learned. So with that important distinction made, I'll tell you that in general, practicing hands separately during the learning phase is a very valuable tool but the learning phase is much shorter than we might think. It's just the time needed to learn the notes and rhythm in a very basic and slow manner. The practicing phase, which is where we really spend most of our time when trying to perfect a piece, well, I think hand separate practice is a big waste of time. Now, of course, there are exceptions for everything, but generally speaking, I found this to be true. So let me give you some examples of when playing hands separately can be useful. When you're on a brand new piece and learning the rhythm and notes, of course, we talked about that. When you're focusing on voicing and balance between the fingers of one hand, when you're working on the phrasing of one hand, when you're working on a new technique like rotation, and when you're first memorized in a piece, although, after you memorize the hands separately, you have to also memorize with hands together. I never memorize a piece all the way through with just one hand. It's always done in small sections, learning one hand than the other, and then I immediately put them together. Now you might be able to think of more instances when hands separately is helpful, but those are just a few examples. So when is playing hands separately a big waste of time? Well, when you can play hands together fairly well already, when you're working on fingering. Yes, I do play through one hand at a time when I am first figuring out my fingering, but then I immediately write them in my score and put the hands together. Playing hands separately feels completely different than hands together, and the fingering that works with one hand at a time doesn't always work when playing both hands together. So a lot of times I write in fingering for one hand, try it together, and then revise as needed. Another example is when you've already memorized the entire piece and now you're just wanting to test your memory. You don't need to test one hand at a time because you need to know that when you play both hands as written, you have that memorized. Also, if you keep playing wrong notes or rhythms, Hand separate practice is not necessarily going to fix that problem. Now, you might need to return to the learning phase and make sure that you've actually learned the music correctly. But once you've confirmed that yes, you have learned it correctly and you still seem to keep playing the wrong notes or rhythms, then you need to just play it much, much slower in very small sections, hands together and you do this until you've played it correctly more times than incorrectly. Getting it worked out with one hand doesn't mean that it'll stay worked out when you put hands together. So the next time you're practicing, think about the actual issue that's holding you back or what your goal is, and then ask yourself if hand separate practice will truly help you Maybe there's a better way to solve your practice issue. Mm -hmm.